Oh, hello. You are already here. Hi, and welcome to www.plasmaspeaker.de. Today in this episode, we will uh, look at the a cappella plasma tweeter. So this is one of the oldest plasma tweeters in the German market. So a cappella TV1S. So Twitter Sphere One. This is uh, the name of this unit. So it's really heavy because it has a brass horn. It's solid brass, and uh, on the back side we see uh, the knobs. This is audio input, volume knob. Fuses, main power in and the switch automatic and manual power on. So this unit has a automatic power on. So if there is a audio signal sensed, then the tweeter will turn on. Yes. So as all the plasma tweeters uh, on my workbench, this unit is defect. I think it is not much. So the old plasma tweeters mostly suffers on the bad electrode and uh, worn on uh, plasma cell. So, and uh, we will turn down the unit. We look inside, so have fun. So now, so far we are. So on this side, we are, we have a look at the power supply. So this is the power supply of the tweeter. And uh, so we have the main input. This is uh, the power supply. Here is a timing circuit. There are the uh, power condensers and a big transformer and this is what you see on this side and on the other side here is uh, the audio frequency here is the audio frequency input you see that this connector is uh, not uh, in place so we have here only uh, the kinch input and the volume knob so, and uh, here is uh, the main transistor, which uh, directly modulates our tube, and the tube, the PL519, is inside this uh, compartment here in the middle. So, this is totally shielded, and uh, we have to open now this to go inside the unit to the plasma cell and uh, the tube. So now here we are. Try to give you a better view. This thing is really heavy. So uh, what we see here is the tube. It was loose from the transport. So uh, and here we have the brass horn, here is the ceramics, and inside this ceramic there is the uh, plasma cell. So this is the coil for the high voltage, 
and underneath here is a printed circuit board where the components for the oscillator are. Yeah, so now we have to tear down this completely that we can uh, reach the plasma cell. Let's go. So now we have a better inside view. So you see here, this is uh, the ceramics where the plasma cell is in. And uh, this unit I have now to dismantle. It's a bit tricky because you have to loosen these screws and push back these ceramics and loosen these screws. So uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky to do, but we will see. Now, finally we got it. So, here is uh, the quartz cell, which is uh, worn out. So it's dark in the middle. It's really worn out. And this is the electrode. So it's screwed here in the ceramics. Ah, I unscrew it. I have to unscrew it anyway. So you know. So here we are. So this is the worn out electrode. Hope you can see it. So it's uh, yeah, it's really burned away, so the tip is burned away and uh, the material which was burned away from the tip is now in the uh, cell. So uh, this is always uh, the problem of these tweeters after some years of use. So far so good. Now, for comparison, here are the old parts and the new parts. So, this is uh, the new quartz cell, and here is the new uh, electrode which I have manufactured. Uh, so, you can see there is a, a nice tip. If the camera can focus it, and uh, this was the old one tip is burned away and uh, here we have now a nice sharp tip and now we will mount it together and then I'll be back. So now the electrode will be mounted in this ceramic device. So, now it's ready assembled and uh, we can put it back in the device. So far so good, the flame has started and now we can plug in an audio signal. I'm using my signal generator here. Ah, here we are, 2 kilohertz. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. This is 20 kilohertz. This is much behind YouTube can deliver you. But I think here this is nine, ten kilohertz. Yeah. So, Twitter is functioning fully as new 
I will now uh, put all the shieldings and the cover and so on in and uh, then it's ready.